Welcome to Morning Coffee. It's been a really good day today and I'm really excited about uh, sharing with you something that's really important. And I know, hey Michelle, how you doing? I really uh, am proud of you for all the work you've done and uh, hey Barbara, Barb, it's easier to me to say Barb. <laughs> hey, salute. Hey, Sue. How's it going? Hey, Jenny Baker, my good friend. And uh, I am really excited about this content. Hey, Mark, how's it going? What's going on, buddy? All good in the hood, as they say. Jocelyn, how you doing? So today, I, uh, hey Barb, <laughs> hey Paul, let me say hello to all my good friends. Send, uh, it helps me, by the way, share this content, send likes and hearts and all this so we can bring awareness to aphasia and stroke TBI, um, things like the show I did yesterday. How did you like the show? Man, Courtney was so good, so brave, so amazing. Her willpower, her insight, and she was just really good. And I uh, watched the video uh, a lot last night and I learned a lot. And uh, hey, Jerry, hey, Sue. So let me get on with the uh, content because I have to go on a road trip. I'm going down to my parents' home and i um, gonna be in the car a lot. So um, in the next uh, two days. So hey, Janice from London. And so time, 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 time. It seems that time waits for no one, waits for no one. We all have the same gift of time, the same gift of time. But it's what you choose to do with it that makes all the difference on earth. I had a good friend, David Long, one of my best friends. And hey, Janice, good to see you too. And say hi to John. One of my good friends made a presentation about time. And he had an unusual way of looking for it. So I uh, did some races. Uh, some research, and um, I'm going to share this with you. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Sue. Hey, Cheryl. Have a good morning. So, 536, 112, 536 million 112,000 6205 1,008 8 204 17 85 136 what's that stand for the average lifespan of a man in this country is 79 years. And I calculated it. I have approximately 536 million seconds to live. 6,205 days, 1,088 weeks, 204 months, 17 birthdays, 85 birthdays for my kids, 
136 birthdays for my grandkids, 17 Christmas mornings, 17 Thanksgiving holidays to enjoy. And I am going to get the most out of my time. What's important now? Hey, Natalia. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Laura. And thank you. <laughs> you, you know, Laura, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I was running late because I, I've got to go on this trip, so I threw it on. <laughs> thank you for saying that. But listen, if you calculate your time, we all have that gift of time. So think about it, 17 birthdays, 17 Christmases, 17 Thanksgiving holidays. I am not going to waste a second of it. What about you? We all have the choice to spend our time wisely. If you manage your minutes and moments, your life will become magical in every way. But you can't waste time. You know why? You can't get it back. Once it's gone, it's gone. But we have this one day. So, I am so urgent about bringing awareness to aphasia. You know, aphasia is only four to six people out of a hundred know anything about aphasia. And we need to bring awareness. And all of us can do something about and bringing awareness to strokes and TBI and but we have to have a mandate of our own personal mission to do something about it and you know I've never had more fun in my life and the, my show, I have something to say. Think about it. All the people that I have had on this show, every one of them brings something new, something to learn, something so valuable. You know, when I watched that interview with, with Courtney, it struck me that we don't have to settle. We don't have to live someone else's life. We don't have to. We, what we do have to do is get up, stand up, speak out, and be heard. We have a choice about how we spend our life. How many laughs can you get in a day? How many people can you smile at in a day? How many thank you notes can you write in a day? How much kindness can you be uh, display in a day? Be the hero of your own story. You know, we talked about that yesterday. But listen, how much joy can you spread today? You know, every day when I get up, and whether it's a bad aphasia day, I look forward to it because I have the ability to overcome anything, anything. You have to have the willpower to persevere, 
So when I think about time and I think about in, in those terms, seventeen Christmas with my kids. Wow. Seventeen Thanksgiving holidays. Wow. 136 birthdays for my grandkids. 85 birthdays with my kids. And I believe, hey, Carolyn, and I want to make the most of it, the most of it. And I've have got a lot of goals. I uh, have never been to Israel, but I want to go with my good friend, Miss Jacobs Matana. Yes, I want to go. And uh, everybody has a chance to leave a legacy of greatness. What are you going to do? What is your mission? Time waits for no one, not, not anyone. We all have the same time, 536 million seconds. Wow. The average age of a man from today forward, 536 million seconds. 6,205 days, 1,088 weeks, 204 months, and 17 birthdays. What am I going to do with the time I've been blessed with? So every day when I get up, we have this choice about how we spend our time. 86,400 seconds a day. Seconds, seconds a day. <laughs> a patient moment. If I can, every day, in some way, educate people about aphasia, if I just have the occasion to explain it, to another person, that's one person that didn't know that knows now. And if I can be so passionate and so enthusiastic that I can impress on them to go share it with other people. So if I tell one and they tell one and they tell one, that's three that didn't know. <laughs> and it, extrapolates from there. So I would encourage you, please, please, tell people about aphasia. Tell people about my story. Tell people about your story. Share your story if you have decided to own your story. You know, I believe one thing that I have learned in the uh, last 27 months, the one thing I have learned, we all have a choice about how we spend our time. And I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to get up and have a pity party. I am going to celebrate life, life. I'm going to celebrate and be thankful and grateful for this life I have been blessed to live. And if you think about it, if you think negative thoughts, you cascade yourself into depression. And if you think positive thoughts, you do the opposite. You elevate yourself, you uplift yourself, 
and you have a chance to make a difference in this world. You were born to be great. You were destined for maximum accomplishment from birth. God painted you as an individual masterpiece, truly unique, one of a kind, rare, so why not go do something magical with your life? Time waits for no one, but time is your friend if you don't waste it. Time is your friend. You know, Jerry and I didn't even know about each other a year ago. But we become great friends, great friends. I would do anything for him. Salute. I just love her so much. Bo, Jan Janice, you know, Janice wrote me, and we have formed a relationship. So it's um, amazing. Hey, Melinda. So I hope. I have gotten your attention. How many seconds do you have? How many days do you have? How many weeks do you have? Do the math. How many months do you have? How many birthdays do you have? How many kids' birthdays, grandkids' birthdays? Christmas mornings, Thanksgiving holidays, vacations, time with friends. Time waits for no one. What's important now? If you just ask that simple question, hey, Bo, I was just talking about you. If you ask that simple question, What's important now? Maybe it's a phone call. Maybe it's visiting a friend. Maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's learning to play the piano. Maybe, maybe it's learning a different language. Hey, Jerry, I know you have to go. Good luck with your, uh, you on your show today. So, anyway, tune in for Jerry's show, 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Central. Let's talk, stroke, strive for greatness. Oh, Lynette Price, man, I got to watch that. Woo, Lynette, Lynette, Lynette. So, amen, Brad. So, I hope I've gotten your attention today. And I hope you decide not to waste your time. Celebrate. Be happy. Smile more. Be kinder. Be joyful. Don't take it for granted because this is all you have. This little element of time. 86,400 seconds when if God grants me a renewal on Wednesday, I'll take that. <laughs> but I'm going to live this day. I'm going to live this day for all it's worth. We don't have to settle. We don't have to uh, be victimized by somebody else's story. We just have to be victors over our life and celebrate life. And I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you got some things from this. And I hope I got in your head a little bit, do, 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 and woke you up to the reality that time waits for no one. But if you asked what's important now and you act on that, you act on that, that will help you maximize your time. 
Oh yes, spend your time loving yourself. You got to fall in love with you. Be the president of your own fan club. Yes, you do. Give you a standing, sitting o, ovation and uh, fall in love with yourself. Nobody can like you or love you unless you love yourself. So have a good day. Have a blessed day. Capture your moment. Man, I love this. Keep it coming. <laughs> you know, we are destined to be great. We are destined to live a life of legacy. Hope is certainly on the way. Hey, Jennifer, I really appreciate you. Carolyn, I do too. Uh, you had a good son, Joe Angel, and uh, he uh, dates my daughter, Kobe. <laughs> so, got to watch that boy. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Have a level 10 day. All the best. To Natalia, bye. Bo, bye. I've got to go. Make my road trip on the road again. I just can't. Yep, I got to go. Bye.